we are telecom rangers and we are presenting on the history of telecommunication so telecommunication is the communication that has been made possible through the transmission of electric signals and electromagnetic waves here so earlier telecommunication happened in this form people used signals like noise signals and drums and smoke signals to communicate to people that are far so when they need to address people in other localities or other communities they set up fires or they play drums so that people can hear the noise or the, the fire signal the smoke signal so that they can receive the information or get to understand what they, they are trying to um, send to them or get to understand the information they are trying to relay and prior to the triumph of the telegraph industry and electrical manufacturing it led to the manufacturing of electric telephone in the 1870s the initial commercial telephone services were set up in 1878 and 1879 in the atlantic cities of new haven and london the first telephone switchboard demonstrated greater efficiency over particular lines between each customer so this is basically to tell us how the telephone came about and the first cities they were set up in also the telephone was largely the creation of alexander graham bill who received the first patent in the march 1876 this line just tells us about how this invention came about by the ideas of sir alexander graham bell and it also says that he held the master patent for this creation in the next slide has the images of how um, the telephone looked like so the next slide has the images of the telephone how they looked like the next one is the mobile phone and the mobile phone was it came about in 1973 and the brains behind it the brains behind the logical the fiscal the design everything the representation of it was uh, martin cooper who was the manager of motorola the manager of motorola sorry and he made the very first phone call with dr joe esengo which lasted for about 13 minutes yeah so the age of portable it's also the age of portable cellular network phone began with martin cooper who was also the inventor the mobile phones in matsat and cellular networks so in the year 1979, IMATSAT was invented, and this IMATSAT stands for International Maritime Satellite Organization. This organization was founded to help those onshore, offshore, communicate with those onshore. So it was to ensure their safety and enhance communication. Also in the year 1979, the um, cellular networks were introduced to the people of Tokyo and Denmark as well as other countries and um, it was first commercially built as um, the first commercially built net uh, cellular network was built in Japan in the year 1981 um, jo Jonathan Poster also developed a net an application called the um, simple mail transfer protocol and this was to help send receive and also relay outgoing emails between a sender and a recipient. This was done in the year 1982. Internet protocol. The internet emerged on the 1st of January 1983. The advanced research project agency networks, previously the network control protocols were discommissioned and the transmission control protocol became the industry standard. In the, ninth, in the late 1990s, there was the invention of mobile satellite handheld phones. A firm named Iridium installed the first canopy of 64 satellites for mobile satellite handheld phones in the late 1980s. They also contributed building layers bulky phones in the early 70s. Telephone service. In January 1927, the first UK-US radio telephone service was established. And in this same year, Philip Franswood demonstrated the first working television. This was set on the 7th of September since he had been working on a method to transmit images. He discovered that one can encode radio waves with an image and project it on a screen making it the first television prototype. In 1930, the first experimental video phone was created. The AT&T decided to create a two-way experimental video phone, which was also called the icon phone. 
It's allowed or enabled users to see here and respond in real time, meaning users were able to respond quickly during the period the event occurred. Below is an image of a video phone in 1930. Commercial radio telephone. Commercial radio telephone can be called or abbreviated for short RT, which means radio telephones. Radio communication is a transmission of speech over a radio. In 1934, the first commercial radio telephones was established from US to Japan to help people speak across the Pacific for the first time. This commercial radio telephones was introduced by Marconi in the early 90s. But during calls, the interference and feeding of calls was very high, which made the commercial radio telephones not so much effective. In 1946, the first telephone call was made from an automobile phone. There was limited capacity of mobile telephone services for automobile, automobiles and a design put together by Southwestern Bell, which is now known as AT&T. However, due to the cost of installation and volume of calls, it was not an extensive mobile network. This led to the development of cell phones in 1947. Research into cell phone technology began with an examination of the limited mobile or car phones of the times. The realization by scientists in the use of small cells which, whose frequencies can be reused might be able to increase the traffic capacity of phones significantly. Payphone. Payphone is a typically a coin operated public telephone, often located in a telephone booth or in high traffic outdoors areas, with payments by inserting money, usually coins, or by billing a credit or debit card or a telephone card. The first coin operated payphone in the United States was designed by William Gray and developed by George Long. It was installed at the Hartford Bank in Connecticut. This location is still remembered and marked the world's first paid telephone. Early pay phones were designed as post pay phones, meaning you deposited the coins once their call was completed. So, in conclusion, the evolving of telecommunication has really contributed greatly to the human environment and then the ability to access information and communicate with people across the world is one of the achievements of telecommunication. The COVID-19 pandemic, which is known to be one of the occurrences in human history, demonstrated the need for telecommunication and organizations. Government has also been able to arrive at a um, great decision with the help of telecommunication. It is important that individuals, organizations, and government pay closely attention to the telecommunication literacy since it has not become the order of the day. <laughs>